Is this a Pampers for teenagers and adults? I tried out a pack of super dry kids from Abu. In this video, we take a closer look at the diaper together to see if it is good, how much it can withstand and whether it is suitable as a large Pampers for adults. Children's diapers are also an issue for some teenagers and adults, if only because they were changed in their own childhood. There is a good chance that it was Pampers, as the company dominates this market. Due to the availability in every supermarket and the lower prices compared to ABDL diapers, many people later return to using Pampers, Dry Nights, Baby Dream and other diapers for children and teenagers. Some can also be stretched so that they still fit older children to some extent. Older children probably don't want to wear diapers that are too tight. They also have cotton instead of foil on the outside, which many of you don't like. This creates the desire for real ABDL diapers that look as similar as possible to Pampers. Abu is based on the original Pampers, which are only printed with bears on the front of the adhesive surface, the rest of the diaper is white. You can see a picture here. The slightly older ones were even made of foil and the print was therefore even stronger. If you look at the super dry kids from Abu in comparison, at first glance you could really mistake it for an original Pampers. The adhesive surface is also printed with bears. Not one to one exactly like Pampers, which they are probably not allowed to do anyway for legal reasons. Nevertheless, the design exudes a similar charm. When you open it, you notice a difference. Abu has dyed the inside of the diaper a light blue. As far as I know, Pampers didn't have this. I still find it visually appealing, you don't see that everywhere. A highlight compared to many other diapers, it only has two adhesive strips. The total number is always indicated, i.e. one per side, instead of the usual four, where each side wing has two adhesive strips. This brings it even closer to the original Pampers, because children's diapers have always only had two adhesive strips. This has not changed to this day. With the super dry kids, this one adhesive is very wide, because an adult diaper is larger and longer. About as wide as two ABDL adhesives on top of each other. The wide adhesive is more difficult to place. Waves form easily, which means it doesn't stick as well and the fit also suffers. You can see from my first attempts how disastrous it looked at first. It takes some practice and you have to make sure that the adhesive and diaper are straight so that it sticks flat and well. The optimum vertical position on the adhesive surface is approximately the middle. A little downwards is also possible. It is hardly possible to stick it downwards at a slight angle, as I like to do with the diapers with four adhesive strips. This requires two separate adhesives per side. The big problem with adult diapers with only one adhesive is the fit. The ones with four adhesives are stable because the upper ones hold the diaper on the stomach and the lower ones provide stability in the leg area. With only two pieces, one has to take on both tasks alone. Kiddo has already tried this with the Teddy's Ultra, which didn't convince me at all. The diaper was far too loose, especially at the top, and felt as if the adhesive had torn. A large part of the front remained loose and could fold over when worn. It was one of the worst fitting diapers I have ever had. With Abu, you also notice that the part at the front above the adhesives is not packed quite as tightly as with four adhesives. Nevertheless, the fit is a good deal better and more stable, it feels more secure. With the super dry kids, you don't get the impression that it will tear off completely and leak. It doesn't take much effort whether you fix four or two adhesives. Theoretically, those with two would have an advantage. However, as you always have to fiddle around a bit more to get them to sit properly, I didn't notice any time savings. Even after I had put on several diapers, it didn't work any faster. Does practice and habit play a deeper role here? That's difficult to say. Of course, most diapers have four adhesives and I have put on countless of them. It's not comparable with the few that have two adhesives. As soon as you unfold it, but at the latest after putting it on, it's clear. This is not a candidate for the list of the top thickest diapers that I presented to you in the last video. Abu uses a pleasantly soft film. It adapts well to the body. The overall thickness feels worlds apart from the newer Tykables, for example, which are also cut extra wide. Even a relatively inexpensive Little Rascals feels significantly thicker. The scale confirms this. With an empty weight of 185 grams, it is one of the lightest diapers in all the tests so far. It is interesting to note that Abu itself has two other diapers in its range, each with two adhesives. The Abu Kiddo is slightly lighter at 179 grams. Abu Kushi is far behind at 182 grams. Even other manufacturers such as Kiddo are only slightly heavier. Do you not want to overdo it, because the diapers are supposed to remind you of Pampers? 
Or is it simply more difficult to keep them stable with only two adhesives at a higher weight? In any case, the fact is that you can't expect miracles in terms of absorbency from such a light, thin diaper. I had a relatively wide range in the practical test. The worst result was in the region of 1.4 kilograms. The adhesives certainly played a part in this, as I initially struggled to position them as well as possible. Later, this value was clearly exceeded, with the heaviest diaper weighing over 1.6 kg. Compared to an original Pampers, this may seem like a good result. But for ABDL diapers, this is a far below average absorption performance. By way of comparison, the average of all those tested is currently around 1.9 kg. Incidentally, the three previously mentioned alternatives with only two adhesives are no better, but in some cases even worse, some of them ran out after less than 1.6 kg. So it seems to be a general problem. It is also possible that the others from Abu are the same diaper with a different print in order to win over fans of the classic Pampers with this diaper. The price of a pack of 10 at the time of purchase was €28.95 around €2.90 per diaper. In terms of absorbency, you could name a whole range of diapers that offer at least the same, often even significantly higher absorbency for less money. For example, Rear Safari or the previously mentioned NRU Little Rascals V2, to name just two. They are also made of more material and therefore feel thicker. If you spend €2.90, you can expect premium quality on a par with Tykeables Waddlers, Tykeables Camelots and similar products. The suction power is also significantly higher, with the Waddlers, for example, achieving an impressive 2.4 kg in the practical test. It is obvious that the Super Dry Kids is far too expensive for the suction power it offers. But Abu seems to be clever in recognizing how much customers are willing to spend on a diaper. People tend not to buy the Super Dry Kids because they are looking for the thickest and most absorbent. But as a fan of the original Pampers, if this design is important to you, you might pay €2.90 for a diaper with relatively low absorbency. In my opinion, it is only worth considering for this target group. Here it comes very close to the original Pampers. For everyone else, there are other diapers for this money that are more durable or cost less. The best thing to do is to watch my other practical test videos, in which I have already tried out many diapers. There is a suitable one for everyone. Stay dry until the next video.